Let's take a look at the oxidation numbers for CuOH2. This is copper 2 hydroxide. First off, copper 2 hydroxide is a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive after it. So when we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. That's important. We know that copper, this is a transition metal, and this OH, the hydroxide, this is a polyatomic ion. And the charge on the whole polyatomic ion, the hydroxide ion, is 1 minus. You remember that or look it up. Probably a good one to remember. So since we have two hydroxide ions and each one is 1 minus, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Copper has to be plus 2. So the oxidation number on the copper is plus 2. If you wanted to figure out the oxidation number on the oxygen and the hydrogen, oxygen is always going to be minus 2 with a few exceptions. And then hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals like oxygen, is going to be plus 1. So those are the oxidation numbers on the oxygen and hydrogen in CuOH2. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for copper 2 hydroxide. The 2 is from this plus 2 here. Thanks for watching.